Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. Now that the High Republic is here, and boy am I enjoying it, Star Wars fans have gotten to dive headfirst into this new era of the Star Wars galaxy, exploring characters and events that set the stage for this brand new era in the Star Wars timeline. One of the biggest groups to shape the High Republic are the evil marauders known as the Nile. This vicious organization wreaked havoc and mayhem throughout the Outer Rim territories and the planets they terrorized. But who exactly are the Nile, and what role did they play during the days of the High Republic? Let's discuss everything we know about them at this time. Spoilers ahead for Light of the Jedi, so turn back now if you don't want anything spoiled. Based in the Outer Rim territories, the Nile were a group of marauders that were active during the High Republic era and spread chaos and destruction throughout the galaxy. They were responsible for various incidents such as the torching of the planet Nelganom and most significantly, the Great Disaster in 232 BBY which caused starships all across the galaxy to be abruptly launched out of hyperspace. The Nile operated by a code of taking what they wanted and killing those that stood in their way. They were divided into three tempests which were essentially three divisions of the organization, with each Tempest being led by what was called a Tempest Runner. By 232 BBY, Lorna D, Pan Ada, and Kasav Maliko served as the three Tempest Runners of the Nile. Each Tempest Runner had a thousand soldiers under them that they controlled, and their soldiers were separated by rank. Below the Tempest Runners were Storms, who served as captains, followed by Clouds that served as lieutenants, and then lastly were Strikes, who served as soldiers. Although each of the three Tempests served under the banner of the Nile, everyone was out for themselves, with each Tempest Tempest ready to undercut the other. Alongside the Tempest Runners was the Eye of the Nile. Although the Eye did not give orders, which the Tempest Runners were responsible for, everything revolved around the Eye, who provided the factors that made the Nile more than just a horde of Outer Rim Raiders. The Eye was placed in charge of protecting, discovering, and distributing paths, which were routes through hyperspace that were unlike regular hyperspace routes, in that they were impossible according to conventional navigation systems. If hyperlanes were like major highways, a path would be like a short cut through the woods only you and your friends knew about that would get you to the same destination. The first eye was Asgar Ro, who initially brought the paths to the Nile years earlier when the gang was much smaller, operating in a small corner of the Outer Rim close to Thul's Shroud by Belsavis. Asgar Ro obtained knowledge of the paths from the human female hyperspace prospector and member of the Santeca clan, Mari Santeca. Asgar Ro essentially kidnapped, imprisoned, and made Mari Santeca continue to discover and plot new paths. After Asgard died, the knowledge of the paths were then handed down to his son, Markion Ro, who continued to imprison Mari Santeca, force her to find new paths, and kept her alive by providing the elderly woman with her own doctor and access to the best medical technology available. Knowledge of the paths, how they were discovered, as well as Mari Santeca, were all kept secret by the eye. Paths were only shared with the Tempest Runners when they were needed for jobs. Whenever jobs were completed, the Nile followed the Rule of Three, which was a policy that involved splitting the proceeds from their operations. The Eye of the Nile also received a share of the payouts from jobs that utilized any paths. When important decisions were to be made about Nile operations, a vote could be called between the three Tempest Runners and the Eye. In any decision related to the paths, a tie went to the Eye, assuring that the Eye always controlled the paths. Members of the Nile who were individuals of numerous species wore heavy masks and helmets that often featured tubing and were equipped with various weapons and pieces of armor. The masks' purpose were both symbolic and practical. They gave the pirates an intimidating appearance while also protecting them from the chemical weapons and poisonous gases they frequently unleashed in battle. The use of poisonous gases served to harm their victims while also intimidating them as the gas would conceal the Nile and their numbers. The Nile took this same approach with their starships. To incite fear and hide their numbers, the Nile's starships would release a gas that would form a cloud around the Tempest Runner or runners that made up the fleet of marauders, making it appear as if a cloud in space were obliterating innocent beings. Additionally, the Nile utilized various types of starships, which were divided into three types, storm ships, cloud ships, and strike ships. Each of the Tempest Runners also had a corvette-sized flagship, and all Nile starships were painted with a group symbol. Furthermore, the starships utilized were customized to the Nile's liking, and their starships were ugly and menacing but nonetheless deadly. When the Nile gathered, they convened at what was called No Space. Hidden from the 
the galaxy and only accessible by the paths, no space contained the Great Hall of the Nile, a large durasteel platform surrounded by vacuum shields that created a dome of breathable air, which resulted in a transparent gathering hall that made it appear as if the Nile were congregating in the void of space itself. And that's everything we know about the Nile at this time. From what we've seen so far, the Nile seem like they'll be a very formidable adversary for the Republic and the Jedi. As we continue to move deeper into the phases of the High Republic, one thing I'm thinking that we may see is that the Sith are the ones who are secretly controlling the Nile from behind the scenes. That's total speculation, but something I think would be really cool to see. Nevertheless, I'm excited to learn more about the Nile and what the High Republic has in store for them. But what do you guys think? What are your thoughts about the Nile? Let us know down in the comments. If you like this video, please help out the channel by hitting that like button and making sure you subscribe. Follow the channel on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all at Dan's on Fandoms. Thanks for watching and stay nerdy.